Okay, here is a video SEO review for A Access Lock and Key. Um, so this is going to be a good one. Um, so Locksmith SEO is always really hard, a lot of competition, and it's full of dark gray hat to black hat um, tactics um, like uh, Locksmith Service, uh, CBD Kratom, uh, drug rehab, things like that, where there's a lot of competitions, high customer lifetime value, things like that. There's also going to be a lot of SEO work done, a lot of black hat stuff being done. So, uh, especially with locksmiths being uh, most of the time mobile, so they don't have that physical address, so they have to have that service area business um, GMB. It's uh, there's a lot of competition, and it's always um, you know, it's always a challenge to do, and it's it's always usually pretty fun too. Uh, so that um, you know, piggybacking off of that, this site obviously has had a lot of SEO work done, a lot of fancy stuff uh, that really doesn't do much, really doesn't move the me needle. A lot of the stuff that I saw here was stuff that lower quality SEO agencies will use to kind of, like, it's like a smoke and mirrors type of thing. It's, they do a lot of, like, fancy things and they razzle and dazzle you and stuff like that, but at the end of the day, the stuff they do doesn't really do a whole lot and oftentimes can... Uh, actually like hinder a site from ranking so just to show you what I mean uh, so it looks like this site was doing pretty good for a while um, then we had the update the um, we had some updates let's see in where is December of 2020 we had a local SEO update we had another big one in uh, around this time over here and another one in August and you can see the drops correspond with those local SEO updates oftentimes it has to do with uh, site quality and also like um, you know local signals and stuff like that um, what we're seeing is more and more is emerging of like uh, like the global algorithm with the local SEO algorithm it's also affecting maps so uh, this site was absolutely hammered the past couple updates uh, one thing is the one from August 10th should be starting to reverse itself. So hopefully, uh, you know, you'll start seeing some traffic and start regaining some of the uh, GeoGrid rankings that you lost. You can see right here, you've got some, none of the map pack, but you got some visibility. But um, yeah, so it should be reversing. You should be seeing some upticks right now. If not right now, then, you know, shortly um, and some of the traffic that you lost. But you know, looking at the site, like I said, I can tell there was a lot of SEO work being done, a lot of like smoke and mirrors type of stuff that we see from uh, lower quality or like budget SEO shops. Uh, what they're, you know, what they do. It says all the hallmarks of it. So let's get into it. Um, like I said, I can tell there's obviously been obviously been a lot of SEO work done. Uh, there is a lot of content on the homepage. The homepage is optimized for Locksmith, Charlotte, North Carolina. I think this is one of those um, uh, one of those like exceptions to the rule, to where you know I don't really think that you should have the homepage um, uh, optimized for the main keyword uh, with Locksmith and things where people are under duress. They don't really shop around. So for the main keyword, yeah, go ahead and optimize your homepage because people don't necessarily need to shop around, need to be dropped into a funnel. They are, when they're under duress like this, they are just looking for somebody to solve their problem. So like I said, like drug rehab, CBD, Kratom, locksmith, uh, emergency plumber, water restoration, things like that, where somebody's under duress, by all means, uh, optimize the homepage for your main keyword because you don't need to have that long salesy, hey, this is who we are. This is how we help you type of stuff. People know what locksmiths do. People know that, you know, all locksmiths do pretty much the same thing and they want to convert now. So, um, yeah, this is one time where I would absolutely just um, optimize the homepage for it. What I'm seeing here is this actually might even be over-optimized. So this is a lot of content on here, especially when you consider all the stuff down here in the tabs, right? And then down here... In the accordion again I wonder if this is Elementor let's see is this Elementor I don't have my thing on there um, but yeah so this might even be over optimized I would go back and maybe revisit the content uh, embedding the GMB here I know some gurus uh, tell you to do that 
I don't think it's absolutely necessary, and I don't think it really moves the needle a whole lot, unless you're trying to optimize for several different areas, and you have several different GMBs. Uh, I only saw one GMB here, so it's fine. It's not hurting you at all. A lot of this stuff is stuff that I do. Like I said, in previous videos, you want to make sure that you're um, showing proximity, authority, and relevance. And one of the ways that we do that for to solve the proximity and relevance signals is to add in, like I mentioned in the other videos, neighborhoods and points of interest. Uh, oftentimes, it's not enough to really just add these things in there. So one thing that we do is we make sure that these are recognized neighborhoods and points of interest and entities and stuff. And then only put those in there because if you just start putting in random neighborhoods, random points of interest and stuff like that, it's not really going to matter. Google's not going to recognize them. Uh, the other thing too is just adding them in here oftentimes doesn't give Google enough information. So with, especially with bigger cities like Charlotte, um, like I mentioned in other videos, think of your content as tiered. Have your main uh, tier one content be Charlotte, North Locksmith, Charlotte. And then break off neighborhoods. Do you like Locksmith, Ashley Park, Carowinds, Center City, you know, whichever ones that you need that extra push in. And doing that too, you're creating your um, geo silos and you're creating your um, your content silos essentially. So you, you're giving yourself more places to build links, more internal linking for your site to flow those links up and everything too. Um, so one thing that I really don't even do is restaurants, hotels, because I mean, what happens if these close down in six months? Then all of a sudden you have, you know, closed down restaurants and stuff in here. Uh, same thing with like um, museums and amusement parks, banks. Uh, those I really don't even do. Like I'll do neighborhoods, zip codes, landmarks, things like that. Uh, but really at the end of the day, like I mentioned before, you could be, this could be actually over optimized, which is why you're on, uh, on page two for this and why you're not really showing up anywhere in local Falcon in the, in the geo grid. So, uh, one way to know if you are over optimized is your know, classic over optimization is, is if your um, the trend for your graph just kind of keeps slowly going down for this keyword, then you know you're over optimized for either locksmith or for Charlotte. Um, my gut feeling is this needs to go back and be maybe pared down a little bit. Um, I actually saw this on a lot of the pages. A lot of the pages look way over optimized. Uh, let's see. So Wesley Chapel. So first of all, like I love this. This is exactly what I want to see for a business like this, to where people just need help right now. You get your phone number. You have your um, your form right here. Have a locksmith call me. Cool. But when I go down here, there's a lot of stuff that's good in here. It's a lot of good internal linking. But this is this page is all about Wesley Chapel, North Carolina. It's not a whole lot about locksmith. So there's this part right here right that's about locksmiths but then the rest of the 90 percent of the page is about is about wesley chapel so what's google supposed to think this page is supposed to be about is this page about you know a locksmith serving wesley chapel wesley chapel is this page just about wesley chapel that's talking about a locksmith in it so this page absolutely needs to be redone talking more about the locksmith part of your business rather than talking 90 percent of the content being about uh wesley chapel so uh, again, down here, like all this, there's even more content down here in the uh, drop downs. I, I don't know why this entire page is about Wesley Chapel, but you know, I would go through all the pages and see which of these local landing pages, these city and service pages are talking mostly about the city and switch up that content, start talking more about the locksmith services and see if that bumps these up in the organic and in the maps. Um, the one thing about having a mobile locksmith is it's really hard to get into the map pack because I so much of it is spammy. So you, for a lot of these, especially if it's not like in your geographic area of where you're, you got your postcard, it's going to be hard to get into the map pack. So uh, really what I would shoot for would be like number one or number two in organic or something like that. Uh, one of the things too, like I said, with all the black hat stuff is... Unfortunately, Google still weighs keywords in the uh, GBP title and your business name uh, as the biggest ranking factor, uh, which we see here. So we hear locksmith, locksmith, Charlotte locksmith, Charlotte mobile locksmith, uh, Charlotte locksmith service, and then lock and key. So, you know, if you don't have your keyword in your title, uh, you know, especially if you're a mobile locksmith like this, it's, it's just going to be 
to be in all honesty, it's going to be harder to get into the map pack, which is why it's so important that you have these local landing pages optimized to try to hit that number one or number two in organic, because that's really going to be a better bet than trying to rank in maps anywhere beyond your location. So, um, yeah, same thing here, uh, Wennington, North Carolina. You see it's all about Wennington, not so much about locksmiths or locksmith services, things like that. Uh, like I said, one thing that I did notice is they did do some internal linking really well, but it doesn't matter if Google does not understand what these pages are. Um, because if Google thinks that these are just about Wesley Chapel, it's not going to, you know, flow any of these, any of the link to or anything, um, any of the, like, like, I guess, entity and top relevance and stuff to the main, uh, main page. Uh, let's see if SERP works. works. Yeah, it might not be working. That's fine. So the other thing that I wanted to mention too that I see a lot, it's like, you know, like I said, it's a lot of smoke and mirrors and stuff, um, is these my maps, these map citations, and then the, the quality of the backlinks that are going to the site. So a lot of these backlinks are low quality web 2.0s. Like I see Blogspot on here. Blogspot's been a minor demoting factor for a while now. Uh, let's see if this is, and I'm getting this a lot too. Uh, you're, you're, when I was doing this, when I was trying to crawl your site and trying to get information about the site, uh, it was going down constantly. So I would check your server because these 500 errors are server level errors. It means your server is overloaded. Maybe you're on some cheap shared hosting, but this is this happened probably four or five times. I couldn't even really crawl the page. So I would ask your hosting company about that or your SEO company about why that's happening. So a lot of these backlinks, like I said, are just like low quality web 2.0s. Uh, a lot of these are made with what looks like Money Robot. So Money Robot is an automated link building software. I have nothing against automated link building software, you know, like Ranker X, uh, GSA, Search Engine, or uh, SEO Autopilot. It's just how you use them that's important here. And this is exactly not how you use this. Um, maybe this was done by Link Daddy, I don't know, but this is the exact wrong way to use Money Robot. So uh, let me show you here. So we have uh, the isblog.com. I think that's a Money Robot blog. And then, one, you never want to just smash a whole bunch of links to your site with Money Robot, SEO Autopilot, anything like that. And let's see. So, like, right here, uh, so we have uh, something about the ALOA, findalocksmith.com, and then this is just smash in there with no rhyme or reason, and it's a exact match keyword mobile locksmith so what we're seeing is exact match keywords actually are losing some of their power and one i mean this is the exact wrong way to do this you do not want to shoot these directly to your pages using exact match keywords google's going to pick up on this uh at best it's just going to discount all these links which it probably did uh let's see if this is even indexed let me see uh let's see google.com oops we're not in Cameroon. So let's see if this is indexed. It's not indexed. So here's the thing is if these aren't indexed, that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. As long as Google reads these, it's going to put the links in their link graph. So one thing I would ask my SEO company is when they made these, did they put these through an indexer? Did they have some way for Google to crawl them? If not, and since they're not indexed, these aren't doing shit for you. So this is the exact wrong way to do it. Basically, they just fired up an automated program and uh, either spun or just copy pasted some content from uh, from some other site and then just, um, you know, gave you a report. Let's see. We saw this right here too. isblog.com again. Um, we see here. Where is that link? There was just some, uh, here we go. Some courses, Motorcycle Key, Charlotte, covered the expense of final accreditation and or licensing. Uh, this is in a paragraph about how much does professional license training cost. But then it goes here and says a 15 second trick for residential locksmith, North Carolina. And this is Motorcycle Key, Charlotte. I mean, how, how is this helping anything? What is Google supposed to think? Is this, what, you know, what is this website about? 
What is the content about? Why is this random exact match keyword shoved in here? So, you know, there's a time and a place for automated link building. This is neither of them. Um, shoot these as your tier twos to your citations, to your guest posts, to your Google My Business posts. Do not put these into, you know, do not shoot these directly to your main website. Uh, here's another one, Amped Pages, another Money Robot link. Uh, the professional technicians are prepared with the commercial locks in Charlotte, most approximately date modern technology. So this, again, they just took some spun content, threw it in the Money Robot, shoved this uh, exact match keyword in here, and put it over to your site, which is, again, not what you want to do. Um, you know, it's it's as you're seeing this, you can see why your page lost and your site lost so much uh, traffic and why you're not ranking your geo grids. Like the content is most likely overly optimized, and then all these backlinks, all these really low quality backlinks, are pointing over to your pages. Uh, one other thing that really uh, worried me is let's see when we did when I did a search for your um, for your brand name. You didn't even come up first. You didn't come up in the first one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you showed up ninth on the first page for your own brand name, which means Google does not trust your site at all, does not trust your entity at all. It thinks that your Crunchbase profile is a better source of information about your company than your own website is. So this all goes to your website is often it's probably overly optimized. All the links pointing to it are low quality, you know, shitty links. Um, so it's just, you know, like I said, this is all the hallmarks of a SEO company who is a lot, who does a lot of smoke and mirrors and doesn't really actually provide a whole lot. Uh, the other thing too I wanted to mention, and I'm sure you've seen this mentioned in the, um, in the group is about you know map google map citations and stuff like this you know hey people asking does this work you know does uh map citations are they valuable let me see i know ha so that's what these are so i know you'll see like on fiverr or whatever you know we'll give you 300 map citations you know things like that well that's what this is and i can tell you for sure that these aren't doing anything this is one of those smoke and mirror things that looks really impressive that seo companies will often deliver to people who don't really know a whole lot about seo but ultimately, this does not do shit for your site. So if you are paying them for doing this, you're basically just wasting your money because this is not really doing much. So this is, I mean, look at this. This has been a year and a half now. It's only gotten 35 views. There's, I mean, look at this. There's no content on here or anything like this. I mean, exactly what is this doing? How is this helping show Google that you are the authority that you know part three seo proximity uh, authority relevance how is you showing google that you're an authority in the area you know it's showing google that you have a map that has a whole bunch of dots on it and some polygons but what does any of that mean when there's not even any content on here so again like i said this is just a whole bunch of stuff that looks really impressive to people who don't know about seo and a lot of seo companies try to get away with this when Look, you just took your numbers. It obviously is not doing anything for you. So, yeah, all these, all these um, money robot links, all of these um, Google My Maps are not doing shit. Um, I didn't really see a whole lot of good backlinks in the profile. I even saw some links on like .es sites, some uh, foreign language sites on here. Let me see. Uh, where did I see that? Uh, right here. So, like, what is this even? So, this looks like a social bookmarking link on a foreign language site. How is this helping you at all? Are you serving anybody in Spain? Probably not. But this is one of the things, like I said, that a SEO company will get this big, long report. Hey, look at all these links we got you. You know, we got you 400 links this month. And ultimately, they're not doing anything. In fact, they're probably, at best, not doing anything. At worst, they're just hurting your SEO. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's what's going on with the backlinks and with the content. I mean, local signals really aren't showing much because, 
there really aren't any. Um, I'm not even really seeing any press releases or anything on here. A lot of people, if you ask a lot of people, they say press releases don't work. I can tell you for a fact they do. We use them all the time. Um, it just matters how you use them. So, um, yeah, I mean, look at this. There is not a whole lot of, of, um, I'm not seeing any guest posts. I'm not seeing any niche edits on here. Uh, really nothing that is going to move the needle. Just a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of, uh, low quality web 2.0 links. Okay. Let's see. Transponder keys, transponder. Okay. Some here. So this is probably been way back in the day. So this is a comment link, which really doesn't do much unless it's on a niche relevant website, either for locksmiths or for, you know, Charlotte, North Carolina. So there really, I mean, there really is nothing here. It's a whole lot of just, you know, it's all hat, no cattle type stuff. Um, which is exactly why this site has been getting hit with every single update because Google does not trust anything that's going on. Uh, Google does not trust this site at all. And that's why your, you know, your citations essentially are showing up higher than you. Um, the backlinks aren't any good. The other thing I saw too was there's a lot of keyword cannibalization going on. So when, when I did a quick search for the pages on here, let me see. So like I said, you want, so this is one of the times when you want to target the homepage for optimization. But what you don't want to do is try to optimize a whole bunch of other pages at the same time. You want one page targeting a keyword. If you get uh, multiple pages targeting a keyword, then you run into what's called keyword cannibalization. And what that means is, if you look at most um, uh, search results, except for you know maybe the weakest ones, Google wants ten unique uh, sites. Um, essentially, what it is is Google only has so much authority it wants to give to a site um, per search. That's oversimplified, uh, but it's the quickest way to, to I can explain that. So for each search, it only wants to show one page from uh, each website. If you try to to multiple or to uh, to optimize multiple pages for one keyword, then Google gets confused, doesn't really know which one you want to um, rank. It might rank the wrong one. It might try to split the like link ranking authority or page rank, whatever you want to call it, into the two pages, so each gets half of the potential uh, ranking power. Uh, and I saw that a lot here because look, you have the homepage is Locksmith Charlotte, then you have blog Locksmith Charlotte services Locksmith Charlotte. Locksmith service areas of Charlotte, Locksmith Charlotte, Locksmith Charlotte on the contact on the contact us page. So there are a lot of pages where the title, where like the main topic of the page is supposed to be Locksmith Charlotte. At least that's what you're telling Google. So um, I mean, you have to take all that off. You can only have Locksmith Charlotte that keyword on the homepage, right? So this is you're you're getting some keyword cannibalization there. That's absolutely hurting your chances of ranking. Um, the other thing too is I looked and um, Google can perceive multiple keywords as being close enough on the vector that they're close enough, closely enough related that one page can show for multiple keywords. I saw that here with uh, the variations of Locksmith, like Locksmith Charlotte, Residential Locksmith Charlotte. So by having multiple pages targeting that, again, you're running into keyword cannibalization. And one easy way to find out if you are doing this is just do a search for the two. So we have uh, Locksmith Charlotte and Residential Locksmith Charlotte, right? So we have Papa Lock, East Waylock, Yelp, uh, the discount Locksmith for Locksmith Charlotte. For Residential Locksmith, you have Papa Lock, East Way, East Way again, uh, Yelp, discount Locksmith. Then you have uh, DY Locksmith, three best rated cheap Locksmith. So you got uh, Angie, cheap Locksmith, DY Locksmith, three best rated TikTok key and lock. And yeah, so what you're noticing here is the same pages are showing up for Locksmith Charlotte and Residential Locksmith Charlotte. So essentially what that means is Google is seeing them as closely enough together that one page can rank for both keywords. However, what you're not seeing is specific pages called Residential Locksmith Charlotte that are ranking on here because you don't need that. You can put that keyword, you can optimize for that keyword on your homepage as well. But what I did see here um, was, let's see, where did I go? 
Uh, residential locks in the Charlotte. So this page is also most likely cannibalizing the home page uh, for these keywords. Um, so I would th probably 301 this uh, to, if, you, if this is targeting residential locks in the Charlotte, I would either de-optimize for that or I would 301 it to the home page to uh, help mitigate some of that um, keyword cannibalization. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you can see here all these problems that are really holding you back. And all the, these are really all the reasons why you've gotten hit by every single update we've had for the past year, two years. Um, I mean, there are, there are some bright spots. I don't want to, you know, completely shit all over your site. Um, so I saw that the GBP site was pretty well optimized. Um, there are some things that I would, I would nitpick on. So, uh, these posts, um, great. I would make them absolutely keyword focused. Like I said in the other video, make sure you're including the entities, make sure you're including the keywords and stuff in there. And then, uh, have them, uh, link to the specific pages, which I did see here, but I'm not, I'm not seeing like the entities and stuff in there either. Uh, also you can add in like event posts so they stay there for a year and you don't have to keep doing them every single month. Uh, the about us right here is, is pretty well done. Um, there has been some effort put in here. Like I said, I would expect this from, from your, SEO company, this is a bare minimum. Uh, I would, I would absolutely put more content in here because the thing is, is this is technically a different site. So you can rank this site for the same keyword and it wouldn't be keyword cannibalization because it's a different site. Um, one thing though, too, like I said, is all the smoke and mirrors, all the glitz and glam they try to get you with is like this locksmith service and balancing. Great. That is perfect. What we want to see, but Oh, let's see if this even loads. Oh no, it's all about the city of Ballantine. Oh, maybe not this one. This is good. Okay, actually, this is good. This is what you want to see. Locksmith service, a little bit about the city, uh, most about the service. But then, again, like, what is this? This isn't doing shit for you. The, this, These Google Maps citations, my maps and stuff, really aren't going to be doing much. So this is one thing I did like. Uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, I've, I've talked about building up the entity of your site and everything. Basically, your branding. Uh, Google absolutely rewards uh, sites that have, um, like, brands and a clear, clearly built out, like, ecosystem and stuff, especially in the locksmith space. Like I said, uh, any industry where the people are under arrest when they call, they want to see that branding and stuff. So having the crunch base, you know, having the citations and then having your different... Um, uh, social media sites, especially your YouTube, is pretty uh, pretty important. So one thing I would do is just you know make a video a month, keep your YouTube channel uh, you know fresh and updated. And I see that you had Charlotte Locksmith, Locksmith Charlotte, Automotive Locksmith Charlotte. That's great. Um, I would probably only have one video targeting one keyword. Me, this is made in 2013. Maybe create an updated video and then put your use this as a citation. Um, treat this like a blog post, put a few hundred words on there, uh, put your name, address, phone number on there, a link to your site, link to your Google map, things like that. Treat this as a citation. And then, um, what I also like to do is I also like to build links over to these things too, uh, get these ranking in, uh, in the organic searches if possible. But yeah, this is good. Uh, just keep this, uh, updated in the about section, uh, Put more in here. Treat this again like a blog post. Uh, put in the entities. Uh, try to optimize this for locksmith in Charlotte, if at all possible. On the playlists too, so playlists themselves can rank. So get a playlist, name it locksmith Charlotte, and then put in your videos in there for locksmith Charlotte. Uh, you know, emergency locksmith Charlotte, mobile locksmith Charlotte, whatever, and then build links to those because these playlists can rank as well. A lot of people don't realize that, but YouTube playlists, YouTube videos, they all can rank for keywords too, as long as you uh, put a little effort into it. So I think that is about it for this one. This is a shorter one than the last one. Um, I mean, CRO purposes, again, talk more about benefits rather than features. But with locksmiths and stuff, like I said, because they're under arrest, they know basically what locksmiths do. Um, they just need something to come out now and solve their problems. 
um, make it easier for them to get a hold of you. So I see you've got phone number right here, but you know if you scroll down, there's click to call. There's a whole bunch of text here with nothing, and then click the call right here. Um, yeah, I would maybe. I, I don't like going more than one full screen without a call. Like I would probably put something down around here. I guess that's okay actually. Um, yeah, so not really a whole lot that I would nitpick on for the CRO. Um, mostly just the SEO has been. It's. I mean, like I said, like. The backlinks are real bad. There really are no local signals. Uh, the Google business site did get, I saw, did have some uh, link shot to it, which is great. Uh, every Everybody forgets that the Google business site can take links. Um, but a lot of these are like Blogspot links, which, again, are really not great. Um, so, yeah, I mean, just, I mean, the pages are over-optimized. There's some keyword cannibalization issues going on. The local signals, like the links and stuff, really are just not where they need to be. So, I mean, there's a lot of work that needs to be done on this. Some bright spots are the Google Business Profile was published and somewhat optimized. There is a YouTube presence. Uh, there are some of like the more authoritative citations like Crunchbase and stuff. But when your citations are outranking your own site, there's a big problem there. Google really does not trust the site, this entity's branding as a whole. And that needs to be really cleaned up. Um, yeah, so that's about it for access, uh, lock and key at accesslocksmith.com or .net. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. Thanks.